snap count for just a little bit longer to draw the offside. That makes it a first and five. Travis going to go deep. Has a man. And in stride, it is Pokey Wilson. Knowles strike first. Not exactly that easy. Look, the jet motion crushes it. They rotate the defense completely. Blades has to get deeper than the deepest, and he doesn't. So as a result, you find Wilson on the post route over the top, and it's well protected there by Florida State's offensive line. Perfect throw from Travis, and an excellent catch from Pokey Wilson on the extension. Right at you. And right into the hands of Pokey Wilson. What is that, like 25 block punts for this year? We had it last <laughs> oh week against goodness. Syracuse, but and he brings different looks every single week as well. Trey Benson, look at how well this is blocked. And here goes Benson. Coming off a career high, 111 yards, and it took Cameron Kitchens to track him down. 42 yards. Oh, just a beautiful counter look right here with the guard and the tackle on the backside working all the way out and around and the hurricanes over pursuit they have two guys out wide and benson what a treat Wendy and benson remain in the backfield third and goal play action travis and he gets it to lundy for the touchdown dj lundy just beautifully done by Jordan Travis. It's going to get Lundy out into the flat, but it's eaten up initially. But he waits, and he's patient, and he buys just a little bit of time. They need to get them off schedule and put a little more pressure on Mike Norvell, the play caller. Second and 12 for Travis. Has time to set up and go downfield. Into coverage and a diving effort for an interception by DJ Ivy. What a play by Ivy. But it felt like Miami's defense had to make a play. Florida State dominated the first quarter. But 18 seconds in, the second belongs to the Canes. Benson utilizing those blocks, cutting inside, cutting outside, hitting the accelerator is Trey Benson. That's a heck of a run by Trey Benson. Down here to take away the run on the left-hand side. Able to field that snap. Benson again. As he dives for the goal line and scores. A 13-yard touchdown for Trey Benson. Just a great job running through contact. And extending here. Does he extend? Yes, it does look like he does cross the plane. Just an unbelievable effort again by Benson. There's only a 29-yard punt. He was the starter last week and had the game-winning overtime score at Virginia. On third and 17, this is how he enters the game. As he's just able to run it out to the 31 yard line tonight they've given up 119 rush yards as the miami defense they came in 22nd best rush defense in the country travis as he tries to get it to wilson on the sideline and he does good body control by six foot seven johnny wilson better be six seven if you're going to make that play to the feely just split the defense and another gash run by Florida State. We'll see here, the redshirt freshman from California on third and five from his own goal line, and it's intercepted. And makes the play. He collisions the vertical, and then he just walks right into that interception. Garcia never saw him. They passed the Lundy to fullback last time in this spot. See what they do here. Benson. And he is in for the touchdown. So they reward him, and he gets it in again. Just a great effort here. It was well defended there initially by Smith, who held up and stood up Lundy there. 
Ford, defensive coordinator, former Miami head coach Randy Shannon, as well as Code DC. Third and seven, and Brown gets it to Restrepo, who goes up and over for the catch. First of all, it's like, all right, how, how does Ja'Curry Brown throw it? Because he threw one last week, kind of threw it in the dirt. Well, that's a heck of a throw right there. I mean, that is a big-time throw. Second and seven. They bring pressure, and Toafili has it. Travis found Toafili, and here he goes as he cuts back. And is still flying downfield inside the 15-yard line. Travis had to pay the price for standing in there. And Toa Feely jetted downfield. Unblocked defender off the left-hand side. But he has Toa Feely on the wheel route. Something they use all the time. Travis knows it. Knows he has to beat the blitzer because he doesn't have anybody to account for him. As Caleb, You're probably going to get that thing strip sacked. So a good job there just eating it by Jordan Travis. Fitzgerald comes in. And nails the 41-yard field goal. Travis going to set up the screen this time to Benson. And look at Benson go. Exactly what you were just detailing. Especially with some of the chaos that's likely to ensue. Oh, I'm very excited to hear your opinion on the show Tuesday night. Travis on second and nine. And he is taken down. That was great pursuit up front. It's going on the Pac-12. SC especially really benefits today because they could still get in very much as a one-loss Pac-12 champion. And here is Knighton. Rooster Knighton as he accelerates just short of midfield. Really nice job here. You see the insert by Will Mallory, number 85. Knighton cuts right off behind him and finds some open space. Over 20 yards. And Knighton with another good run. Backups in for Florida State, at least on this drive. Those three have been so good. Brown. As he goes straight ahead for another first down for Miami. Been a while since Miami's had a touchdown drive. Third and goal. And Brown tries to fall on it, but instead it is scooped up by Burse. Start of the fourth quarter. Jordan Travis to the end zone. Boy, was that easy to Cam McDonald. And Knowles fans haven't gone anywhere. They want to enjoy every moment of this, as Jordan Travis says, good night. Cam McDonald with the eight-yard touchdown catch. That's how they open up the fourth quarter. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.